If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before listening on. We're going to see that in this case, there's a bit of a trick to this question, actually. And it all hinges on the fact that the train has an acceleration as long as it is in motion. But we're going to see that it's not actually in motion for the entire 40 second time. In fact, we're going to calculate how long it actually is in motion. That's what we'll do first. Now, we were told that its initial velocity is 20 meters per second. The acceleration, again, is negative 1 meters per second squared. What we're going to do is make the assumption that the train is going to stop eventually. So we're calling the final velocity 0 meters per second. And what we want to figure out is the time required for that to happen. Now here is an equation that involves the four parameters that we're investigating right now. We would like to solve this equation for t, the time. So to do that, we can subtract v0 from both sides of the equation. And then we'll divide both sides by the acceleration so that it cancels out on the right side. So here is the expression for the time. We'll go ahead and plug in the known values that we listed on the side. We've omitted the units just for the sake of clarity. Now, when you calculate this time, you should see that it equals 20 seconds. So that's how long it's going to take the 20 seconds for the train to come to rest or to have a final velocity of zero meters per second. So 20 seconds to stop, the question strangely says, how far does the train move during a 40 second time interval? Well, here's the train, we'll say, and it takes 20 seconds for that train to stop. So that would be 20 seconds. The remaining 20 seconds, the train just sits there. It's already stopped. It's not going to be moving. So we really only need to calculate how far it goes in the 20 seconds, the first 20 seconds, I should say. The second set of 20 seconds, the train is just stopped and it's sitting there and it's not covering any additional distance. So our task becomes to calculate the distance it travels in the first 20 seconds. And to do that, we can use this equation from kinematics. So we'll just plug in the known values. And when we simplify that, we should get 200 meters. So that will be how far the train travels during the first 20 seconds, and frankly, how far it travels for the overall 40 second time interval. Because once again, in the second set of 20 seconds, it wasn't moving at all. Its final velocity was zero, it was just sitting there. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I will do my best to post a video solution to it on YouTube.